Hi, my name is Jared, and this week in Rideshare, protests shut down Uber, Divi returns to Chicago, and curfews cause chaos. Legal Rideshare breaks it down. Let's start with Monday. As protests rock the country, Uber suspended its services in the cities that had curfews, CNBC reported. We're also using the Uber app to educate riders and drivers about city curfews and remind them Uber should be used for emergency purposes only. Well, Tuesday brought some good news for Lyft who announced rides jumps 26% in May. Riders reported that Lyft said the uptick in rides in May is actually due to the strong growth in cities where coronavirus induced restrictions have been eased. While some businesses in Chicago remain closed, Divi has actually opened back up. Chicago Tribune reported, quote, Mary Lori Lightfoot responded that both the CTA and Divi bikes have been used to commit crimes and that she will not turn a blind eye to the issue. As cities have imposed curfews to curtail the violence, it has actually left essential workers scrambling. Wired interviewed legal ride chairs Brian Greening, who said, quote, if you shut off the apps, then those essential workers are left unable to perform their essential tasks. Then the entire city and community suffers. While the country is grappling the pandemic and protests, essential workers are stuck in the middle. To end the week, we reported on a delivery driver getting arrested for being out past curfew. The catch? He's an essential worker just trying to do his job. And as we've said in the past, gig workers deserve better and we will always stand with them. And that is the end of This Week in Rideshare. See you next week.